Hi internet friends! Today we are talking about linen. I kind of want to kick off a new series on my channel where I go a little bit more in depth on fabric types and how to style them and I thought what better place to start than linen because hello it's getting hot outside. I do also just want to say a quick thank you to Quince for sending me some fantastic pieces to work with and style up. They have a great collection of linen products. I have quickly become a big fan of Quince for their quality, sustainability, and overall just really good basic garments. Okay, let's talk a little bit about types of linen. Now there are a lot of options out there. One of the best things about linen is it is a very breathable fabric because it is a very light weave. It means that air can kind of move through and help the garment breathe. It also dries very quickly, which someone who sweats a lot, really good option for me. Very thankful for that aspect of the clothing. It is something that very easily creases. So I do want to mention that being someone who uh, is okay with a little bit of wear and a little bit of life lived into clothing. To me, that's okay for someone who is maybe a little bit more type A and sees creases and gets a little freaked out by them just go into it knowing that like the moment you sit down, the garment's gonna crease. But to me, I feel like that's a positive because it kind of just wears along with you. It follows your movement, it follows your lead. Just be forewarned if you are someone who is obsessed with ironing clothes, uh, sometimes the amount of effort that you put into ironing will quickly be ruined the moment you get the garment on. One pro tip though, if you are someone who uses a steamer, I would highly recommend one of these like mittens. It kind of helps you mimic the idea of an iron and lets you really get up there close and iron out some of those creases. So this is like a game changer and a lifesaver when it comes to steaming clothes. Okay, let's talk about the different blends of fabric. Now my personal favorite is just the lightweight, no lining linen, which I know sounds a little bit weird because I talk a lot about finding clothes that still have the lining intact. Linen is one of those pieces that I make an absolute exception for. I appreciate it in the colder months, but once the temperatures start rising, I do not want lining in my clothes. 100% linen will always be one of my top picks when it comes to the overall composition of the garment. However, there are some exceptions to these rules. So for instance, linen and cotton. Cotton provides more softness and removes the wrinkles. It helps reinforce the garment and kind of makes it a little bit more smooth smoother contrast. Linen and rayon is another good option. Rayon, if you felt the fabric, almost has like a roughness to it, but it has a very slinky feel to it as well. So oftentimes it'll kind of mimic the idea of silk clothing. You mix linen and rayon and suddenly you have a little bit more fluid garment. And then linen and polyester is also another option. Not one of my personal favorites, but linen and polyester blend will help hold that integrity together. So again, it's gonna be one of those pieces that oftentimes doesn't have wrinkles in it. One thing that I will note, I have something like these trouser pants. These are 100% linen on the outside, but the inside lining is a nylon or a polyester. It's vintage, so the fabric content is completely washed out, but the inside of it does have lining on it. So during this time of year, this is something that's gonna trap the heat in. So even though it says it's linen, the moment you get this on your body because of the lining on the inside, it's gonna trap the heat in. So I would say during the summertime, avoid something like this, but but during the winter time, this actually really does come in handy and is easily one of my favorite pairs of trouser pants that I own. Okay, let's talk about some of these garments and how much I love styling them. First up is this quince top and quince skirt. These are sold separately, but bought together, they look like a beautiful, luxurious set. I love the draped fabric. It has side pockets. You know how I feel about pockets. I love that but this also gives me the ability to mix and match. So if I wanna look polished, put together, I can wear it as a look, but then if I want to create a separate style, it is so easy to do. The skirt and the top are both 100% European linen. And of course the best part about linen is they are durable, breathable, hypoallergenic, lightweight, and two of my personal favorite features, elastic waistband, cause you know, when you're moving and grooving throughout the day, you want something that's gonna move and groove with you. And side pockets. Can we get an amen to side pockets? I never say no to side pockets. One nice thing about linen is it adds in a completely different texture into your outfit formulas. So pairing a top like this with denim shorts creates a little bit more depth to the outfit and really gives it a completely different look than going with a basic cotton shirt. Now, since moving to Florida, I have become pretty much obsessed with sleeveless clothing and off the shoulder tops 
because it definitely limits the amount of sweat that you will see. So I got not one, but two of these strapless little tube top numbers. I absolutely love this paired with the linen skirt that I have. I think it's such a rich look. It actually is on display on their models on Quince's website. And that was really what sold me on the look. I loved the pairing. And again, something like this with white denim shorts is going to give you a completely different look because you're adding in that depth of different fabric types. Both of these tops are also 100% European linen. And the best part, in my opinion, about this one is it has smocked backing. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility as far as fit goes. Now for me, I actually prefer longer sleeves if I'm going to be out in the sun because I do like the idea of sun protection and linen being the most friendly and airy piece of clothing is something that I will always lean towards. I think that's why you see a lot of people at resorts wearing longer clothes like this to the pool. They work as great cover-ups. You're not exposing that much skin and the sun protection alone is well worth it. Some exceptions to the rule that I will make on lining are shorts if they are airy like this. So this one in particular, because of the volume of the legs, it gives it a little bit more of a skirt look, but because it's white, it is going to be a little bit see-through. So having something with lining built into it is nice. Uh, I don't think I would personally wear this specifically uh, out and about, like if I know I'm gonna be outside all day long, but as a styling piece, I do really enjoy this. This is a linen cotton blend. So again, something like this, having the pleats built into it kind of takes away kind of hides the idea of how much linen creases. So I do appreciate the style concept on something like this. I know sometimes adding linen into your wardrobe can feel a little bit intimidating, but trust me, the moment you start bringing these pieces into your closet, the more and more you will realize they are a power move. They are something that is going to make a huge difference in your wardrobe. I find myself gravitating more and more towards linen clothing the older I get because I do realize the power that it holds and how much it will just keep you cool and calm all throughout the summer. So again, I highly recommend it. Another reason it might feel a little bit intimidating is because of the price point. Linen can tend to run a little bit more on the expensive side. Quince though, I think does have a great catalog of clothes that is very affordable and of of course, don't ever, ever, ever forget that you can always find linen at a good thrift store. Trust me, it's out there. If you look hard enough, you're gonna find it. That is it for today's video. Let me know down below how you feel about this series. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, I might have a couple extra videos for you right here and right here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.